Vanishes. Excuse the clatter. I've seen worse. Good day to you, Helen. I did not count on seeing you two again. I take it you've returned for a reason? Things have been feverish round here, to say the least. Are you bearing up? As well as can be expected. How well is that exactly? People are dying for no apparent reason, and this godforsaken fort dangles out over the edge of the world, cut off from everywhere. I fight so the stockade stays standing. The ship is wrecking, but I was called to be captain. I hold the wheel. So yes, Banisher, I am bearing up as well as can be expected. You miss Sebastian. Every waking moment. Count your blessings, Banisher, for they are fleeting. Could his husk still be present? It will be drawn to you. No, it could not. Something is present. Something weighs on you. I'm busy, Banishes. Busy means tired, that's all. I've mail for the fort. The messenger didn't make it. But I'm glad to make his delivery for him. Mail? From who? I don't know. Family? Friends? They seem to come from outside New Eden. Ah, from before. They could be good for morale, or they could ruin it. Well, thank you. You're more than welcome, Helen. Mind you, I'd charge you a fee if I thought you had any money. We'll look into your spectral stains. If you feel the need, then sure. Suit yourself. Why is an echo here? If Sebastian still lingers, it can't be. Sebastian's mentioned on every page. These are really very good. Poor Helen. I hunger. I fade. What can I do? What do I do for you? Come to me, love. Comfort me. Don't go. All will be well. I promise. All will be well. Helen's desire is so strong, it's constructing a new ghost. The husk sees what she wants and mirrors it. She feeds him from her own essence. No wonder she's on edge. Well? I'll not waste your time, nor mine. You lied to us about Sebastian's husk. It's still here. We were clear. That is not Sebastian, and its presence will kill you. I... I know that in my mind. But in my heart, it is him. I can see him, hear him, feel his presence. I know him, and he knows me. If he is not real, what is? You are real. Every breath you take is real, and every beat of your heart. And the people here are real. Lead them. Sebastian is a husk. 
and without the puppeteer, the husk is paling. It clings to you still because you cling to it. Soon it will pale entirely and become a spectre. This puts you and the others at great risk. He poses no danger. He's... I... Very well. I visit him in the mines. You'll find him there. Take the elevator on the right to the main gallery. There's a tunnel there. You'll need this key. To which you must banish us. And so will I. Go gentle, Helen. Failing that, go hard. Banish the puppeteer, yet Sebastian persists. How? Deprived of the puppeteer, does the husk now feed on Helen's grief? We'll have to get rid of it. Helen will lose her husband all over again. Maybe this time she'll be willing to grieve him properly and be done. It is distressed. I am the shadow of the one she loved. And yet I have the face. I don't want to hurt her. Please tell her I cherished her as I left. Sebastian, are you saying you want us to lie? They weren't even real memories. Now even his specter is gone.
What are we going to tell Helen? That the Spectre of Sebastian lost the fight with his own nature and we had to dispatch him. Or that he vanished, cherishing the life he thought they'd shared. She won't enjoy either. Do we have to lie? Some truths are better left unspoken. And the people here need their leader. Have you found him? I'm sorry, Helen. We were too late. Sebastian had fully paled. He remembered nothing. Not us, not you. He was a spectre and nothing more. We banished it. What? You did what? The real Sebastian has been gone a very long time. You know this. How could you? He was all I had. My love, my friend, my only friend. I know there's nothing we can say to make things better, but you have our commiserations. If there's anything we can do, just say the word. You've done quite enough already. I'll take a moment to myself, Vanishes, if you please. Of course. Take care, Helen. <laughs> 